Welcome to Michigan in Focus, powered by thecentersquare.com. This episode features a piece by Center Square Michigan reporter Scott McClellan, headline, quote, Michigan lawmaker questions legality of new education department, end quote. Here's the story. Michigan lawmakers and the State Board of Education are questioning if the creation of Governor Gretchen Whitmer's second education department is legal. Representative Angela Rigas, Republican from Caledonia, called on Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel to block the department's creation. Last week, the board voted unanimously to ask Nessel for her opinion on whether Whitmer's recently unveiled Michigan Department of Lifelong Education Advancement and Potential is legal. The vote requested constitutional clarity from Nessel's office as the new department overlaps with the state board's responsibilities, including teacher assessment and curriculum assignments. Riggis said in a statement, quote, There is no reason for my leap to exist other than the vanity of Governor Whitmer. The only thing this new department does different is give the governor more control. I applaud state board members for pushing back against that, and I join their calls for Attorney General Nessel to promptly review both the constitutionality of my leap and its proposed agenda. I agree that we need to improve our education policies in this state, but we could do so much simpler and cheaper if the governor's ego would get out of the way. End quote. If enacted, my leap would be the fourth new government agency Whitmer has created since 2019. Counting the Office of Future Mobility and Electrification, the Michigan High Speed Internet Office, and the Michigan Office of Rural Development. My leap is meant to improve education outcomes from preschool through post secondary by establishing clear metrics, collaborating with cross sector leaders at the local, regional, and state level, and developing a shared action plan. My leap has three goals to add capacity in the early learning team, to accelerate progress toward the 60 by 30 goal to earn a skill certificate or degree after high school, tuition free and to prioritize community, regional, and state partnerships that help students succeed. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, many of Michigan's 1.4 million students have struggled to recover from learning loss or attend school regularly. A report from Stanford University partnering with the Associated Press found Michigan had the fourth highest rate of K-12 student absenteeism among 40 states and the District of Columbia during the 2021 and 2022 school year. About 38.5% of the state's 1.4 million K-12 students missed 10% or more school days that year, nearly doubling the pre-pandemic 2018 and 2019 academic year. Neither Whitmer's office or Nestle's office have responded to a request for comment. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. This podcast was made with the assistance of AI technology. Please subscribe and thanks for listening.